Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. So firstly the most highly anticipated Fed event of the year once again lived up to expectations presenting savvy traders with a great opportunity to generate huge gains fast. Last week commodity prices they skyrocketed across the board with everything from the metals to energies posting explosive gains. That was after Fed Chair Jerome Powell signaled that tapering could start this year However, the central bank was in no rush to raise interest rates. The commodity markets, they saw immediate gains. Oil prices, they took center stage. Brent crude oil rallying 11% to post its biggest weekly gain since June of 2020, whilst WTI crude oil surged 10% to post its strongest rise since August of 2020. Oil prices, they're now up over 265% from the same time one year ago. The bullish momentum also spilt over into the precious metals, with gold prices soaring over $25 to hit $1,820 US dollars per ounce. Gold has been on a stellar run throughout the month of August, with the precious metal now notching up a third consecutive week of gains, advancing a staggering $150 since briefly dipping below $1,680 US dollars per ounce earlier on this month. Elsewhere, silver prices, they jumped 2%, racing back above $24 an ounce, whilst industrial metals, they skyrocketed to multi-year highs. Copper prices, they surged 4% last week, whilst aluminum and lithium prices they hit three-year highs lithium prices they're now up over 200 percent this year and now the biggest and most eagerly anticipated economic release next week that will be u.s non-farm payrolls data especially as the fed has signaled the central bank could start tapering this year if the next two job reports show growth in the 800,000 to 1 million range the other big market moving event will be ISM manufacturing PMI and also CB consumer confidence data, which should confirm that inflation pressures, they're set to remain elevated for much longer than expected and continue to drive up commodity prices. As you know, volatility creates opportunity. Banks and hedge funds, they are making multi-billions capitalizing on the week-to-week -week volatility and it's not so different for the retail market. The majority of our clients at the Gold and Silver Club utilizing our research-driven trading approach They've already made in excess of six and seven figures this year, and we still have another four months left to go. So if you have been kicking yourself for missing out on some of the biggest trading events so far this year, you still have time to make 2021 your best year yet. So with that, let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at here as we head into a new week. So first of all, starting off with copper, you may recall this time last week, we talked you through a trade opportunity with copper and also other industrial metals such as palladium which since then have had a slingshot move higher complete v-shaped reversal recovery and ourselves and our clients at the gold and silver club have benefited massively by this slingshot move that we've seen in the last week so copper prices that are four percent in the last week we've also got palladium prices which are up over six percent in fact we had the biggest one day move for palladium since may of 2020 a very clear trade opportunity we identified with you last week as well we've also seen of course gold prices surging over two percent to the upside last week on 1.3 percent last friday to break back above 1800 us dollars per ounce not only that of course we've seen silver also drive higher into friday's close up 4.3 percent in the last week here so first of all let's just bring it back to some of the trade opportunities that we talked you through step by step last week so first of all copper so we had that follow through that we had been anticipating on this market we in fact built into five positions on copper we've now taken the opportunity to bank on strength here but we are certainly keeping a core position on here we've had a strong impulse move at the beginning of last week so three days of consecutive gains to the upside and we've consolidated over Wednesday and Thursday and we've seen that breakout later on in the session on Friday after the Jackson Hole symposium so copper here we maintain our long position as we go into next week we will be looking out for a potential move back towards the previous next 
neckline that was tested here back in August over the next week and then as we go into September as well so we're going to remain with our long position on this market now moving over to gold we remain in two positions as we go into next week we're up over 1750 points on those two trades we built into those positions earlier on in the month after gold went through that slingshot move where we were waiting very patiently to add in once the dust had settled and we've now been able to capitalize massively on this market we had four trades initially we banked two of those trades and we remain in two positions as well what i would like to see going into this week is whether gold can continue this momentum higher and get a retest back towards the previous neckline that was tested over the month of july here expectation is that gold will put in a higher high and a higher low over this week typically the first week of september you can see fresh capital come back into the market and we may see further support in gold over the course of this week more so from the first of september onwards once you see fresh capital come back into the markets however at the beginning of the week over monday and tuesday we may see some profit taking being the final two days of august there given the big gains that we've seen over the last week and particularly into friday's close as well so again we have two positions on gold that we're maintaining going into next week and very simply what we're looking at is to see whether we can have a retest back towards the neckline as we go into next week and then whether if we retest that zone whether we can clear and break above it and start making a march back towards the levels that were retested back in may here if we can get further acceleration to the upside as we go into next week and then moving over to silver so we remain in two positions on silver we've taken the opportunity on the recent sell-off to build into lower prices we discussed with you previously on silver asset of the day our expectation was that silver would spend very little time below 23 us dollars per ounce and that would be an opportunity to build lower positions and we saw that the previous week well only very briefly did we break below 23 dollars per ounce before then seeing buyers come back in and essentially on friday we've seen a breakout back to 24 dollars per ounce silver is up 4.3% in the last week. It's the biggest move to the upside we've seen for silver since May. So again, the same stands. We could get fresh inflows as we go into a new month. So from the 1st of September onwards, we may then start to see more acceleration to the upside. But we could also see some profit taking at the beginning of the next week over Monday and Tuesday, given that it's the last couple of days of the month. And we've already seen some significant gains into Friday's close here. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of consolidation going into next week. But then we want to see whether silver has any legs to this move and whether we can come back again to retest the zones that were broken down from as we headed towards the end of July and into to August whether we can see that further acceleration to the upside and then finally moving over to palladium so again palladium provided us with a fantastic opportunity at the beginning of the week in fact in total we were able to bank 6,000 points profit with our palladium copper and gold positions we had a windfall amount of profit that we were able to generate very quick by the pure fact that we had the biggest one day move for palladium since May of 2020 here so you can see here where palladium rallied over 2,000 200 points to the upside at the beginning of last week and feel free to go back and watch our previous week ahead commodity report where we identified that trading opportunity with you in details that's worked out extremely well and we're coming into a cycle which is typically favorable for palladium as you move through the month of september and then finally just going over to crude oil here we have now seen a 10 percent gain to the upside in the last week so again crude oil very impressive recovery over the last week much like we've seen on palladium on copper on gold and silver into Friday's close following on from the Jackson Hole Symposium and Fed Chair Jerome Powell's speech. As you know, bull markets, they don't go up in a straight line. They zigzag, which does present savvy traders with back-to-back -back trading opportunities. One of the biggest obstacles that holds many retail traders back from achieving their desired success, it's not having access to institutional level data and market intelligence to make confident decisions with accuracy in these highly lucrative markets. If you follow the wrong strategy, or worse still, if you lack the right data at the right time, you'll end up wasting a lot of time, money and effort and have no results to show for all of your hard work. If you want to thrive and not just survive, 
in these highly macro driven markets then you need to adapt and utilize a professional research driven approach trading like every other misguided retail trader using outdated technical analysis and gimmicky technical indicators will not work the greater your data and intelligence the greater your edge in navigating these fast moving markets with superior levels of precision confidence and profitability we still have another four months to go this year time is the most valuable commodity we have and make sure Sure you don't waste it if you want to maximize your money making potential and really thrive not just survive in these fast moving markets then you need to adapt your strategy to the current market conditions you need to trade like the hedge funds the money managers the institutions utilizing a professional research driven approach you need to learn and understand the daily the weekly the monthly the quarterly cycles in the markets so alongside that understand capital flows and marry that up too with key levels of liquidity alongside sentiment in the market the intermarket correlations the ratios understand the macroeconomics the fundamental drivers the key news items that will have the biggest impact have access to real-time data market intelligence the real facts in the market statistics and alongside that learn the positioning of the hedge funds money managers the banks and institutions in the market that will help you massively to get an edge so with that if you would like to join our community of successful traders learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program there is an opportunity for you to do so as a member you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars you have access to real-time trade ideas access to institutional research and market intelligence access to our private members academy website and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring for more information just go to www join the live trading room.com the link is also below this report in the description so just click on the link make an application and we will of course get in touch with you asap and do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel that way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports